Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Back with more of my collection, this time some more NES, starting with Gradius. Releasing on the NES in 1986, this game could also be known as Nemesis. It was actually the first NES game released by Konami in North America. This game also featured a cheat code that could be entered while the game is paused to give your ship basically every power up. And yes, this code would later be used again in other Konami games and would become to be known as the infamous Konami Code. This game was fun, but boy was it hard, like most games on the NES. I hated those dang little enemies that would come out from behind you while you were focused on something in front of you. Oh, and by the way, another fact for this game, it sold over a million units in Japan. How do I know this? I don't reveal my sources, come on, just trust me, bro. Next up, we have Kung Fu Heroes. Releasing in North America on the NES in 1989, this game is also known as Chinese Hero or Super Chinese in Japan. This is the first game of the Super Chinese series. I got to admit, I played this game quite a bit as a kid just because it was a bit more on the easier side than most other NES games. The point of the game was to defeat enough enemies who are apparently made of blocks or something to open up the door to the next level. There was quite a few bonus levels to also be found in this game. Take that, stupid block people. Next up, we have Mission Cobra. Releasing in 1990, this game is also known as Sidewinder in Australia and Asia. Huh, <laughs> Sidewinder. Shout out to you, Dave. One thing I liked about this game is it wasn't a one hit and you're dead kind of game like most other NES games at the time. You had health, which was also your fuel, so you could actually take a few hits and actually manage to finish the level. There are three levels in the game, and they all end with a boss fight. If all levels are beat, the game loops, and stage one will act as stage four, and so on. There is no ending to this game, well, other than the game over screen. <laughs> Man, just listen to that authentic helicopter sound. It slaps. I don't get why they made the cartridge this way. It says press here. Is this where they want you to press to take it out of the NES? I don't know. I do have another cartridge that's around the same color though. I think it's Pest Terminator. That will be on a future video. Speaking of, if you'd like to see me play games, then check out my Twitch channel and hopefully you can catch a live stream. Next up, we have Alpha Mission. Releasing on the NES in 1987, this game is also known as ASO Armored Scrum Object in Japan. This game is a one-player scrolling shooter game where you must fight off waves of enemies and a boss on each level. You used missiles to take out ground opponents and laser weapons for aerial opponents. And next up, we have Star Force. Releasing on the NES in 1987, this game is also known as Mega Force. After beating the game, there is also an infinity level, which just repeats the same level and boss without increasing in difficulty. I, uh, I totally meant to do that. Did you play any of these games? Do you still have any of these games? Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos from my collection, check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe because I have more coming out every week. Thanks for watching everybody.